Hi everyone, I am JT Pilot and today I'll be making another video. This time I'll be going over the NG Mods July 2022 releases. And yes, today is is July 4th, 2022, or 4th July, so happy um, 4th July to all my US subscribers and followers. And yes, and I will be celebrating 4th July today. So that's why I'm making this video early in the morning. It's currently 8.20 a.m. where I live, so pretty early in the morning for making YouTube videos. Probably one of the earliest ones I've done in a long time. So I just want to get this video out to you um, pretty early today so I can just chill off for 4th July, you know what I'm saying? So I will be filming another video today though after this. So yes, the NG July releases. The, the hints look pretty good. Um, <laughs> there's 23 miles in this release. And this is the first time I've ever done a live reaction to an NG Miles release. I have really no clue what the miles actually are. I just know about the hints that I did make my predictions, which I'll, I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. I'm gonna, I'm curious to see how many we got right, or how many we got sort of right. You, you know what I mean? But if we had like right airline, but the wrong livery, that kind of thing. I'll still kind of count it. Maybe I'll just count like half a point for that. So there's 23 miles in this release. Injuals did not add any more miles, and yeah, so a lot of people did let me know for Instagram DMs. So that's why I saw all the Instagram notifications. So I didn't bother looking at Instagram or. Um, the diecast aircraft form, anything. I just went straight to the Ingemail's website when I woke up. So, yeah. So, yes. Um, so, sorry about the two first hints on the hint slash prediction video being wrong. Um, I put Charlie Golf X-ray X-ray. It says Golf Charlie X-ray X-ray for the first two. I'm sorry about that. The, the models were actually correct for the hint, but it was the hint, it, like the way I wrote it down was wrong. So, sorry about that. It was the correct hint. So, we'll see if those models come true. The Fly Global Span miles i'll be kind of curious if those do come true i would be curious but one the bay is going to be some like west Atlantic or something i didn't predict um i heard a lot of speculation about west Atlantic being that model as well um so we'll have to see engine miles has already done that but yeah so enough talking let's proceed on to the engine miles july 2022 release is so yeah so here's the engine miles june releases i do have 80s on pre-r i may order more depending on how this new release like goes. I might get Eco Skies to go along with my other eight. I'll tell you, and you'll see what the eight are in our massive unboxing. So <sighs> yeah. Um uh, yeah, this release is probably the most highly anticipated release for me just for this month, just because it's NG Miles. That's where I buy most of my miles from now. So And it did up update the box art too. I forgot to mention that. Um for the Alright. Alright, oh, we nailed this one. Um, okay, so start with the first one. Here we have a Fly Global Sedan Boeing 747-600. Predicted this, right? Um, alright, but not in this. This is an the Scandinavian SAS hybrid livery, so. Alright, there we go. Oh, we did predict this, right? So here we have a Fly Global Sedan Boeing 747-600. And this and this Scandinavian hybrid livery, pretty cool uh, model. This one is this is item number seven six zero zero one. So this is Ingemal's first seven forty seven six hundred technically. Pretty cool model. Um, yeah, pretty cool European and retro model. Like I said in the hint slash predictions video. So I'm glad we got this hint right. Maybe the registration was hit right as well. I think it has a G in the registration and the four letter. I can't really remember, but I'm glad we got this model somewhat right. Um. Pretty cool how Indian Miles is doing their hyper livery. Pretty cool there. So, we got a small, somewhat right. I'll give myself a half point for that one. <laughs> That's what we're going with this time. All right, and then we have a Fly Global Spam Run, Suffering 7 or 600, and just a regular livery. So, we did predict this. So, they're not going to do an 800, they're just going to do two Suffering 7 600s, which, make, which makes more sense now. Because Indian Miles is releasing the same airline and the same aircraft, just slightly different. Like, maybe a, a winglet's different, or... Delivery slightly different. They love doing that, so it makes sense now they're doing another 747 to 600. Another great European model, and uh, many retro collectors will enjoy that model. And these models are coming to at $46.99, so no price increases this month. Pretty good to say. We'll have to see if, if Gemini just um, increases their prices this month. We'll just have to see. Ooh, we got another one. All right, moving on to the next one. We got a third. Um, 747-600, and this one is a Midwest Boeing 747-600. Interesting release. Um, all right, so we said this was going to be an Egypt Air Boeing 747-600, but it is a Midwest 747-600. I don't believe this is the Midwest from the United States. I believe it's some sort of Egyptian Midwest. Pretty interesting one there. Did not expect anyone else to do this, but pretty cool they're doing this. Kind of goes with the 747-600 theme, so... 
And this is in another Hyper Larry. So free, two Hyper Larrys. Pretty cool. Um, this one is Sweatshirt. Sierra Uniform Mike Whiskey. Charlie and Community have $46.09. So, yeah. All right, moving on to the next one. I'm pretty sure, yes, here it is. All right, moving on to the Southwest Symphony Sunish 800. Here we go. And, okay, so here are the Southwest Symphony Sunish 800 with the gray blended winglet. So, a lot of you don't know, this is a test aircraft. I was flying around the Boeing facility, and I did see this on Planes5.net, so pretty cool. Um, Yeah, Southwest Symphony Sunish 800. I will definitely be buying this model. It'll go well with my Southwest collection. Probably just be getting one of them. I don't really need multiple of these, but... Finally, Southwest at long last. So there you go. Uh, this one's Regenor 8541 Whiskey. Coming to you at $46.98. Then moving on to the next one. Here we go. Then here at the Southwest, some free 7 800 in the Heartlayer Swiss Skimmers. The re release at long last. Man, I'm excited for this one. I'll probably be getting free of these. So here at the Southwest, some free 7 800. I'm glad to see this finally. A re release at long last. Last time they did this was in November of 2019. So the item number is 58122. Which is number 856 65 Zulu. And this is coming to a 46,900 cent. So, man, I, you know, I'm excited. Lots of people are excited for this re release. A lot of you on the um, Inside Production Man in the um, chat were very excited about this one. So, glass one came to fruition. So, I would definitely be getting both of these. It's pretty cool they're doing the test restoration one. Because this, I, I should say test restoration, I should say the test aircraft. Really in real life, no Southwest some free some standards have the blended winglets and that are in the heart livery, those white blended winglets. That's only when they're testing on the Boeing factory. So I guess it'd be a cool model if you want to do like a rent in the airport or something. Pretty cool. But that's a pretty cool inclusion. So they did not do a blue skim in our winglet. So that's kind of interesting. And isn't that Yeah. And they say it's a gray winglet. It looks pretty white to me, but I don't know. So that's the Southwest some free some standards. Let's move on to the other 800. So, start with the first one. We got this one right here. The gold Boeing 747-800 in the regular livery. So, we did get this model, right? This I number is 58136. I know many South American collectors will enjoy this model. So, this one's right for Papa Romeo Golf Tango November. So, pretty cool model there. Glad it involves this clean some South American models this month. So, yes. Um, and the Southwest, their item numbers are 58121 and 58122. So, they've been in the planning books for quite a while. So, Pretty cool, we're seeing Southwest re-release. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be buying both of those. So, so far, two miles I'll be buying this month. All right, moving on to the next mile. Here we go, Boeing 747-800, I believe just another one. Okay, so here we go, 747-800, just a plain gold 747-800. Um, and this one has a domain title zone. That's the difference between the two. These are pretty similar. So another great Brazilian model. I, so this one's right for Papa Romeo and Golf Zulu Echo. Coming to you at $46.99. And then moving on to the next one. We have the Gold Sunfree Sunfree Andrew in this colorful green livery. So I did somewhat predict this. I did say we'll get a special livery. And here's the special livery. I predicted the orange one. But this green one I heard was being talked about a lot. So glad Inge Balls is releasing it this month. So pretty cool model. And yeah, so that's it for the Sunfree Sevens. Pretty good size of the seven. I'm somewhat disappointed with the Southwest one. Um, this is where, I'm glad we're getting a regular release. We really have been needing that. But I wish this would be a blue skimmer release. I so want to buy it. It'll be a fun model to have. And I've always been somewhat intrigued by this aircraft. But, yeah. The needs to have here are... Yeah, these free are, some free some six inches are pretty cool. Um, Yeah, kind of cool they all tie in here. I should have caught on to that, but it's okay. And moving on to our next one, we got, all right, so we got some Ethiopians, some 5.7s, and they will be in the retro livery. So I did somewhat predict the retro livery. I'm not sure if they had a retro livery on the regular sub 5.7, 200. No, on the cargo one they did, but pretty cool they're including this. I know many retro collectors will be excited for this. This is 53192 for the item number. Retro Echo Tango Alpha, I believe, I believe, Kilo Fox Track coming to you at $46.98. And here we have the cargo version. Which I did predict this would be in the retro livery. I did say it would be in the normal livery, and then, and then I'm like, oh, it could be in the retro livery, and that's in the retro livery. So half point credit for this one. So this one's Echo Tango Alpha Juliet Sierra, and both of these are coming to at forty six dollars and ninety nine cents. So yeah, so pretty cool there. All right, moving on to the next model, we got a Qatar Airlines Triple Seven is in the retro livery at long last. I guess. Um, 
Since it's in the retro livery. I guess this is the retro livery to them. Um, all right, here the Qatar Boeing 777 ER and a Apparently, the retro livery. I'm not sure. All right, so moving on to the Qatar Boeing 777 ER in the retro livery. Um, okay, NG Miles. So either this is the wrong computer jaded image or it's the wrong description. I'm gonna say it's the wrong description. But here we have another Qatar Boeing 777 ER in this white livery. Um, yeah, pretty interesting release there. NG Miles has already done a white livery release. This time it just has a slightly smaller title, so they're calling this the retro release. So I know many collectors are somewhat disappointed by that decision. So. Which was a retro release or just a regular Qatar Triple Free, but you know, we got that one, so pretty unfortunate. Um, hopefully, this they'll change on it being the virtual livery. We'll have to see if the description comes true or the actual computer image comes true. I'm gonna say computer image will come true, but pretty unfortunate. So, moving on to our 787s, which I believe are next. Here are some Examen Air Brewing 787 9s. I believe I said they would be high end, but we got Examen Air instead, which Indiemos has already done the regular livery one once. But they have not done this BRICS National Summit stickers. Pretty cool on um, release there. And then here we have the Savlon's Pressure Bravo, Bravo 1566 coming to you at $59.99. And here the Examiner Air Boeing, Boeing 77 9. This one's Pressure Bravo 1357 coming to you at $55.99. So pretty cool releases there. And then moving on to your next set of 77s, we have some Saudi Arabian 77s. These are both in special areas, which I did say would be possible. Um, so, and yes, we did get two special liveries, um, yeah, so here are the year Arabic calligraphy, 2021 livery. I believe Intimals has already done this once, or they've done one similar to this model, because I would have put this on the hint slash reactions video, so. Yeah, pretty cool release there, um, country at $55.99, and then here we have the Saudi Arabian 77 of Shine Hot, this one's Hotel Zulu Alpha Romeo Bravo. This is in the season a ride delivery. Pretty cool um, model there. That's coming to you at $55.99. All right, moving on to the next model. Here we have a Norwegian bun, 77 to shine in the Freddie Mercury layer. This is a cool one. I really love this one. I wish Norwegian was still fine 77s. I would so buy this. Great release here. Um, I did say this would be a North Atlantic re release. I'm so glad it's not. Um, I'm just. Because I, I wouldn't doubt anyone's in re releasing stuff. There's really no unnecessary re releases this month. So pretty exciting. Um, besides. Exam is kind of unnecessary, but again, I know many Chinese collectors will enjoy that one, so. Yeah, pretty cool release here. I wish Intimals would have done more tales, because I had to scroll down a little bit, and there's not another tale that's pretty unfortunate, but. Freddie Mercury's still a great tale, though, so. I know many collectors will enjoy this model, and there's 787 Molt is perfection, so it would be an absolutely amazing model. I wish I could get that one, but unfortunately, I gotta save all my. So this one's Retro Lima November, Lima November Romeo, coming to you at $55.99. Item number four, that's 55086. So moving on to the next one. Here we have our Airbus A320 fan model. And here we have a BA Airbus A319-100. So British Airways A319-100. So I did put this in our um, wish list video. And I'm so glad this is coming to tuition. I know many collectors will be excited for this model. And yeah, so um, yeah, so I won't begin this one though because I'm not a British Airways collector or a European collector of any kind. This one, I number for this is 49006. I said this would be a BMI, but we got a British Airways A319. Pretty surprising move. I know the BMI is in highly in demand as well, but at least we got a regular BA A319. Feels like Inch Moss is playing me this one because every model is this, is this the other prediction I have, which is kind of frustrating sometimes, but yeah. So moving on to the next one. Here's the last curve was A321 Neo in the more the love livery. I said this to be an American one we got in Alaska. So in this one, I was like, oh, let's release every every model that JD Pod predicted. Let's, we'll do the second prediction instead. Just to throw them off a little bit. I'm, I'm just joking, though. Here's the Alaska Air Force A20 in the Mortal Love Livery. I did the American, um, I did the American because I thought that would come true. And I wanted to be different than everybody else. Everybody else was predicting this. I should have went for everybody else. But, you know, I just wanted to have my own prediction for this one. So here are the Alaska Air Force A20 in the Mortal Love Livery. At this point, all you to be aware that Alaska will be retiring these next year by the end of 2023. So just be aware that when you're buying this model, just know that Alaska won't have these in their fleet that much longer. If you're just going to buy them like me, just display it. I, just go for it. That's what I'm going to do. And this will probably come to Jacksonville a couple of times. And yeah. So this will be an absolutely stunning model. The more love delivery is so good. I wish Intimus would have done a separate like 700 900 in the more love delivery as well. Maybe both of them in one release. That'd be pretty cool. But the h 20 is perfectly fine. I prefer the livery better on a 700 900 ER. That's just my opinion. But the h 20 is still great though. Item number for this is 13036. Number 92, and this one's version number 926, Victor Alpha. 
So there's no regular Last Cave Tournament in this release, so pretty unfortunate there. Um, I wish they would have done it regularly as well. That would have made... It would have made this model better for me just because I could switch them out every update and make, make it more realistic. It sucks that when I want to have the last game of Neo, it'll just be the mortal love livery. I know that livery's beautiful, but it would kind of be unrealistic. Um, for just unrealistic by a little bit. And last has two of these mortal love liveries on their Ape Neos, and they have ten, so they only have eight rogue liveries. So it's somewhat realistic to have this aircraft come in a couple times per month at an airport, but I wish they would have done a regular livery as well. But we got more love. What else can you complain about that? So. Coming to you at $48.99, I swear this model is a little bit um, higher than the other ones, $48.99. Pretty steep price increase for this one. I guess engine models know that this will be a highly in demand model, so pretty cool release there. And we got some more H21s. We got Condor H21, pretty cool down there. Here we have a Lufthansa Cargo, or it was H21 PSF. And this is in the regular Lufthansa Cargo livery. Um, I believe Lufthansa Cargo has just received these recently, so pretty cool release there. I did say this would be a regular Lufthansa H21 new, but we got just a regular A twenty one, so pretty. That's F, so pretty cool. So this was your Delta Alpha Echo Uniform Charlie comes to you at forty six dollars ninety cents, and this is in the twenty eighteen colors. Hello Europe titles. And moving on to the next one here for the Airbus A twenty one in the Condor um, new livery with new candy cane livery or the beach towel livery. This is in the yellow configuration, and yeah, there's no more Condors this month, so it's just one Condor. Pretty interesting how Intel has hinted out them all together, and they're like, oh, let's do one. Uh, so Angelus has hinted at this. They will be doing the rest of them um, some point, probably next release, hopefully. I won't begin this one, though. I want I want to wait for an Airbus A330 in this delivery because that that would be more realistic for my airport. I may get for the get, go for one of the A321s ones as well, just for fun. I but I really don't need the A321 because I'm not doing European airport. They mainly send these around Europe, and they don't send them to North America. So yes, yeah, so this one's retro Delta Alpha. And to get off of Delta, come to you at $46.99. So just one kind door. Yeah, lots of interesting moves by Engine this month. Um, <laughs> a lot of interesting moves this month. Um, this release isn't as good as last month's release. It's still a great release. I wouldn't say it's like the best release they've ever done. Still a great release. Um, still lots of highly anticipated models in this release. And Engine Miles are doing dividends. That's all I gotta say. We want to L10 lens. Oh, we have the Delta L10 lens. These are gonna be amazing. I know they are. This one's I number is three one zero two five. This is the Delta L10 11. Any regular Chrome um, Delta widget livery or whatever you want to call. It. That's why I call it. So, well, this is gonna be an absolutely beautiful model. I may have to go for this. I really want NG L10 11. I said to myself that to do a Delta re-release, I would definitely buy one. And they're doing a Delta re-release, so I might have to go for it. This one, oh, so beautiful. Hmm. I really want to review this model for you guys, so let me know if you guys want me to re review that model. It'd be an absolutely great model. So this one's version 725 Delta Alpha. Come to you at $55.99 since it's in the Delta widget livery. And moving on to the next uh, Delta Alpha. Let me hear a number 707 Delta Alpha. I believe we did predict 707 Delta Alpha, just not in this livery. Here's a Delta L1011, and this is in the We Are The People um, livery. 1776 to 1976. Um, 1776 for 1976. Logo, which I believe is two hundredth anniversary of Declaration of Independence. I'm pretty sure that's what that's related to. So pretty cool there. Um, yeah, pretty cool model there. Coming to you at fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cent. And then here we have our Soul One Tuner model, which is a Nav Canna CRJ two hundred. I kind of, I kind of fault myself to do a Nav Canna model, but I couldn't really find one they could do. But yeah, they love to do these um niche um Canadian airlines. But I mean, this is a Nav Canna. This is just a government. Um, subsidiary, whatever you want to call it, so. Pretty cool model. This is a new livery. I did believe they did the old livery a couple of years ago, so. Pretty great model. I did say this would be an Air Canada new livery. They still haven't done Air Canada Express new livery Sergio Tuner for whatever reason. Don't know why. They'll eventually do it. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is coming here at $68. So that's it for the NG models. July 2022 releases. So, these are great. Um, that's, these are great releases. I'm somewhat disappointed, but... We got the Southwest Summer Research Aider. I am so excited for this. Man, I'm excited for this. This is going to be an absolutely amazing model. Mm. I love this model. It's just going to be great. You know, we got a Southwest re release that long last. I know many people are buying this. So I'll probably get two to three of these um, for Project K Love. So, yeah, I know many of you have enjoyed it at airport this year. It's heard a lot of great feedback about that. So I'll be definitely getting a couple of these for that airport. It'll make the airport look so much more realistic, and I'm glad we nailed this prediction, right? I kind of knew it'd be Southwest because there's two of them, but yeah. So here are the Southwest Summer Research Ander Split Skimmer release. I'll probably get two to three of those. Then here are the Southwest Summer Research Ander with the blended um, gray, gray wing. It's more of like a whitish gray, I would call it, but 
Oh, sorry, this is all zoomed in too much. So here at the South, with some research and ended with the blending ones, I'll probably just buy one. I don't think that we need two or three of them. And this was a very um, short-lived thing from Southwest because these came out of the Boeing factory blending windows for a little bit. Then a little bit later on, they were retrofitted with the split skimmers. I do believe that's the story for these. So, yeah, so just don't don't buy that one thinking that they're still fine with this. It's just a little um, quick thing in history. So with that, so, yeah. So here's some Southwest. Some pretty similar 800. So those are looking great. So those are the first two I'll be buying. And then... But I'll also be buying the Alaska Air Force H20 New and the Morta Lovelary. This is going to be absolutely amazing model. I know it will be. Which this is American, but Alaska, Alaska Morta Lovelary, it's still amazing, though. It's, it's still amazing. I wish this was on the Sun Prairie Summer 900, but you know what? I'm, I'm glad we get, we're getting this livery. I did have this livery once in my collection. I did sell it, so I want to have it back. So we'll definitely be buying this one. I cannot wait to see how Engine Models does this, does this livery. I'm so excited to see how vibrant this livery is. It's going to be so beautiful. Indwells does work with these um spe these special vibrant levers. It's gonna look it's gonna look so good. How I recommend buying this if you really love this livery or you just really want a pretty cool model in your collection, get this one. And the new um H twenty one mold is is great. I great from all the samples I've seen. We they have yet to the the June releases have yet to arrive with their actual model model account parts of their new H twenty fan molds. So, I, so we'll have to see how great they are, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be amazing. So don't worry, I would highly recommend buying this model. Um, I can't wait to review those new NG models, A320 family models. They're going to be great. They're going to be great. I know they will. So, yeah, so I'll definitely be buying this model. It'll be an absolutely great model. Wish there was a regular livery, Alaska A320 in this release. I wish they would have done that. I don't get why they just did the more love livery and was like, okay, we're not doing it. No, we're not doing an Alaska A320. Yeah, so, we'll have to wait another month or two for that. Pretty unfortunate. I really wish NG models would have put a regular livery in there. But they're like, I'll just do the more low delivery and just move on. So, yeah. Another model I might be buying is the Delta L1011 and the Widget delivery. I may get that one. We'll see. That's going to be an absolutely stunning model. And yeah, so other models this month are pretty good. The BA 319 is a really great model. I know many European collectors will enjoy the BA 319. So, pretty great release there. Um, Let's see what else is great. The Saudi Arabian 79 special areas look pretty great. The Examine Air would be a great model. Car triple, guitar triple sense. Another question release. I don't get why Intel's can't just do the regular, the retro livery or the regular livery with that. I don't, I don't. The white liveries. I don't know about the white liveries. They, they don't. They're just okay. I don't really care for the red, the white liveries. Here the Ethiopian Airlines seven by seven. These are really cool. I know many retro players will enjoy them. The goals have been long awaited. I know many South American players will enjoy them. The fly global stand. Some players six searches are so cool. I know many colleges will enjoy those, and yeah, and then the Southwest Summer Research Agents, they're going to be amazing as well. So that just concludes this video, and I'm JT Powell, so tell me in the comments below which models you'll be buying. I'll be buying definitely a few from this release, not as many from not as many as last month, but I'll still be buying some models from this release. So I'm JT Powell, and I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this video, and have a great day. Bye.